Hey guys, it's SJ. Very happy Baby Name Monday to you. Today's list is really exciting because it is all the top trending girl names in the UK right now as taken by the Office of National Statistics. So you may have seen the top 10 name list came out last week um, and there is a video on that um, from before, from last week obviously. Um, but this week I've spent the whole week crunching some numbers and I have the trending names. I'm going to do it in two parts, um, well four parts in a way because I will do girls in the top 100 the fastest rising names of the year then i've gone outside of the top 100 which takes a lot longer to find all the different numbers and i've done the ones that are rising lower down in the chart so if you're after something unique but trending which is good to know because you know people like it but it's not yet reached a peak then you can listen to that list which is next so hit subscribe hit the little bell and i'll do the same for boys as well so for girls i'm going to go in order of um, the number one being the most trending the one that's gone up the most so I'm going to start at the bottom with Ivy, which just went up six places, but it's super duper high in the charts now. Went up six to number six, so it's now well in the top ten, which is a beautiful name, botanical. It's a bit of an edgier choice than a floral name, and I think it's absolutely lovely. I think it will continue to rise. But Willow also, Willow went up seven spots this year. It feels like a bit of a 90s name but that's coming back and becoming much more mainstream than it was back then when it was more of an outsider choice. It went up seven places to number 12 in the chart. So there's obviously much less room to grow for Willow. If it carries on going up, it could even be in our top 10, which I think would be really, really cool. Daisy, an absolute classic floral name, one of my personal favorites. It went up seven spots as well to number 24 in the chart. So it's kind of in a lot of people's sweet spots where it's outside the top 20. You'll probably know another Daisy in their year group or in their school, but there's not so many Daisies. Interestingly, the nickname trend, the IE ending, is still really popular for girls, but it seems to be fading a tiny little bit. But Lottie, so I have a niece called Lottie, so I love that name, went up eight spots to number 59 in the chart. So obviously it's the nickname for Charlotte, but lots of um, modern parents are more going with the nickname as first name, Lottie. Um, and I can see why it's really, really pretty. Two syllables seems to be where it is at for girls. A lot of them are two syllables. And then Ada went up nine spots last year alone to number 38 in the chart so we're still seeing this one going up a vintage classic everyone put it down to peaky blinders this started to become really popular so if you have a little baby ada you are very on trend hallie still climbing so hallie was a new into the top 100 last year for girls and it's still really really popular again the ie ending up nine spots as well to number 49 in the chart so just inside the top 50 now so really is still going up and going strong olive went up 10 spaces as well to get into the top 100 for the first time it's number 99 it's funny because olivia is our number one girl name it has been for five years so it's quite um obvious that olive should also be popular but it's so much less popular at number 99 it's funny isn't it um it has got very different vibes you think of it much more as a food a lot of people don't like olives I love them. <laughs> and the colour green, which makes me really like it because I love that shade of green. Um, but Olive, what do you think of it? Okay, next up 13 places last year alone is the name Myla. Isn't that interesting? Myla. Do you know little Myla? Have you heard this one trending? I have not heard, I've not seen it on any of your name lists, Myla. So let me know if you know where it's come from. It's gone up 13 places this year. And right next to it is the name Ayla which I have heard of, it's a beautiful Turkish name, meaning halo of light around the moon. So it really fits with Halley and that sort of lunar um, trend. I think it's a little bit different, but that sun, stars and moon trend, which is still going strong, Ayla, up 14 points to number 70 in the charts. And Margot also went up 14 places as well. We probably all know a little baby Margot. I absolutely love it. I actually think it's a divisive one. Some people really can't still get on board with Margot which is what makes me like it a little bit that it's a little bit edgy still but it's at number 88 now in the UK chart and then the name Delilah went up 14 places as well so lots of places lots of names went up 14 spots Delilah an absolutely gorgeous name a Hebrew name I see that loads of charts so I think even next year will be even higher but it went up 14 points to number 62 this year so I think it will be in the top 50 next year which is no bad things it's absolutely gorgeous and then up 16 places is Elodie. What do you think of Elodie? I think it's such a gorgeous alternative to Olivia because it has the same O, it's got the same sort of prettiness. 
It's a French name, it's absolutely gorgeous, and she could be Lo as a nickname, which I like. Elle is a nickname, even Dee Dee. So it's got bags of charm going for it, the lovely name Elodie. Then at 17 places is the name Bonnie. So another IE ending, those nicknames as first names again, Bonnie, which means good. Um, or in Scotland, you'll say like a Bonnie wee baby, <laughs> which is like a beautiful baby as well. So I love that Bonnie is going up. Um, it feels like a perfect vintage nickname. And it's at number 45 now, up 17 places from where it was last year. Up 30 spots is the name Mabel. Um, so I know loads of you who have little baby Mabels and are a bit irritated to see it going up, but it is just massively trending at the moment. So there'll be a lot of baby girls around this age who are very like Mabels, and it's no bad thing. It is no bad thing. Went up 30 places, but it's still only at number 68. So it's not right up at the peaks of its popularity yet. But again, all of these names have been going on an upward trajectory for quite a while. So there's no sign of it slowing down. And then Arabella, which is a real standout star of this year. Arabella went up 31 places in that one year alone and is now at number 40. So a real beautiful name, it means prayerful. So it kind of fits in with those virtue names that we're seeing a lot of popularity with, with Grace and all of those names as well, Arabella. Um, very classic, very traditional. So actually a lot of these names are quite traditional as well and vintage. So we're up to our top two most popular rising names of the year. Lyra is the second most trending name of the entire year this year. It went up 58 spots to number 92. So it's just now within side the top 100. It's funny because Ed Sheeran has a little daughter called Lyra who would have been one of these babies making it more popular and obviously whatever he does, everyone likes to follow and turns to gold. So Lyra, I absolutely love it. But the number one most popularly trending name of the whole year last year is the name Maeve. Yep, yeah, you've probably heard it for short, sweet. I think it hits so many trends. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's Irish, it means intoxicating, so it's quite similar to Delilah, um, which has a similar meaning as well. So it's meaning temptress. So it's interesting, isn't it, for our girls? But very traditional, and it's just come from sex education. You can almost see it plucked straight from one of our most popular lockdown TV series, Sex Education on Netflix. Loads of people loved the character Maeve and it jumps straight into the charts. I think it's got the V at the end, which we absolutely love. It's a little bit like Mabel and Margot as well, so you can just see how popular that M sound is for girls. It went up 124 points, and now it's at number 94. So you can imagine if it jumped up again, but I can't see it going anywhere soon. What is your favorite from all of those ones, or are there any that you're secretly irritated at trending? And I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger and come back for the next video, which will be up very, very soon, which will be the same trending list, but from our outside the top 100 so really really good list to know about for girls and I will do the same for boys any other name requests let me know below and don't forget that it's a baby name consultancy where we answer all your baby name woes and dilemmas which is called baby name envy you can find it wherever you get your podcast and if you need some new baby name advice you can also find us on baby name envy on Instagram every single day running polls and crowdsourcing names for you with the big community over there um, I will speak to you in the comment section below lots of love guys bye bye